want you guys today we're taking a look at how to fix file explorer not responding crashing or freezing in windows 11 and windows 10 as you can see right here file explorer when i try to click on anything it just freezes up and it just does nothing and this is a, a really common problem with file explorer or windows explorer some people want to call it but yeah this is a real common issue and i'm going to show you some of the things you can do to try and fix uh, this issue you can see right up the very top here file explorer is not responding this is very common and you see now we've got a white page when i click on it and this means that you're not going to be able to navigate around windows and explore say your files to get access to them because you're getting blocked out and you can see right there it's reset itself so let's try one more time even on the c drive here when i click on it it's basically going to not respond. You're getting that little circle up there and then you get the not responding uh, message up the very top. Sometimes this could be crashing or it could be just freezing on the screen and you can't do anything. The first thing to try is to boot into safe mode and see whether you can gain access that way. And that is a really first step to do and back up your data just in case you can't fix it. Next, open up the task manager window here. You can see that's working perfectly fine here. And what we're doing here is we're going to be looking for Windows Explorer. Once we find Windows Explorer, we're going to try to restart the Windows Explorer uh, service here or process, and we'll see it start up here. And you'll see a little flash on the screen. That means you've just restarted it. Now, sometimes this can fix it or even restart in the PC. But as you can see, in this case, it's not fixing it. And we do have a major issue. So what we want to do next is check the file integrity of windows and make sure the files are working properly and they are not corrupted in any way so what we're going to do is go to cmd and run this as administrator from here we're going to type sfc space forward slash scan now and run this and let it finish it will take a bit of time but once this is done it will tell you if you have any sort of issues with the files on your system so i'm going to let this finish off and we'll see what it says as you can see here windows resource protection did not find any integrity violations with our system so we know that's okay next we're going to go to the uh, windows updates here and windows update history and what you want to do is you've just done a windows update or it's done it in the background check and see when the latest update i can see there was one done just recently and Microsoft have a pretty bad track record of releasing updates to the general public that are pretty buggy, and this could be the cause of your problem. So what you want to do is you want to go in here and find the latest update that has been done. So we're going to look inside the uninstall updates right here, and you can see right here we can find the security update from Microsoft, and it gives you the number of it right there. There should be a little uninstall right here. Click on uninstall. This will restart the PC once it's finished and it will go through the uninstallation process. Now, this might not be your issue, but if it is, then just pause this update until Microsoft fix it. Because this is a common problem with Microsoft. They will release updates that are buggy and it can cause issues. Also, this is a good time to reflect on what other changes you might have made to the PC, whether you've run any sort of scripts or tools or installed any software that might be causing issues. And then just revert that by uninstalling them. Next, we're going to go to the search and type File Explorer Options. And what this is going to do is open the File Explorer Options window, which will then allow us to clear any sort of File Explorer history or even restore to defaults just in case something has gone wrong or you've changed something you can clear it here and you've also got the restore defaults right there and it will restore those hopefully that might work for you next up we're going to take a look at the next option after you've restarted the pc because we uninstalled that windows update and you'd need to restart your pc once you're back at the desktop what you want to do is type cmd and run this as administrator and type DISM space forward slash online space forward slash. And then we're going to go clean up all one word and then dash image and then space forward slash. We want to do restore health right here. And what this will do is it will scan your system for corruption and repair system issues. So if you've got any issues showing up when you do SFC space forward slash scan now, 
you can then run this command and it will basically try to resolve those issues for you. So next up, what we're going to do here now is after we've restarted the PC, we're going to go back into the settings panel here and inside the uh, accounts section right here, you're going to want to try to create a new user account right here. So inside the accounts section, we're going to go to other users right here and create a new user account. And the reason why is because sometimes the user account could be corrupted and it could be causing issues. So doing a quick user account, uh, creating a new user account will sometimes rectify this issue. So what we're going to do is quickly add accounts. We're going to say, I don't want to uh, sign in. And we're going to go here and add a user without a Microsoft accounts. And then again, choose whatever username you want. So I'm just going to go here and type this in here. You can put a password in here if you wish. Go next. And there we go. It's now created. You will need to sign into that account, which is something I'm going to do in a second. But first, I want to change the account options and make sure it's got administrator privileges because that's what I want to have it to. Next, we're going to log into the account and it will build that account for us. And then we can try to see whether this resolves the issue. So let me go ahead and click on the account that we're on, the three dots, and then go into It's Me, which is what the one I've just created. And it will start to build that account for us. Now we're inside here. What we can see, we're inside It's Me. And I'm going to go ahead, uh, go into here, and we'll try to see whether we can access it. And we can straight away. So we're having no issues with File Explorer here. And you should also try booting into safe mode as well to see whether it works there before you create a user account. I've mentioned that already, but it's always good to try these things. Like I said before, if you've made any changes to your system, go back and undo those changes. And sometimes you'll find that it will rectify the problem that you've had. So I've gone back into the original account where I had issues and I'm going to go here, and this is where I've just signed into. So what I'm going to do is going to go into File Explorer here and to see whether this is working okay. So let me go ahead and click here, and I can now access this. It's very peculiar issue that we're getting. One minute it's not working, and then all of a sudden it's working. So unfortunately for some people, they may still be having issues, and if this is the case, you are starting to run out of options to try to fix your problem. So basically, if you're still having issues where you can't access it like this right here and you click on it and it's still doing this thing, you'll see on the resource monitor right here. As soon as I click on something, you should see uh, Explorer popping up right here. And there it is right there. And it's showing red. And that's because it's it's not responding. And basically, when you look at the screen here, it's telling me that it's not responding. And that's because it's broken. And again, what you're going to need to do is you'll need to notice that the search host.exe is also suspended there and gone blue. And you'll need to investigate. Now, if you've been running tools like Chris Tires Text Tool or other tools like these or scripts, and you've been running these on your computer and now things are not working properly, that means you've broke your system and you will need to revert back to what you've done. Now, sometimes they have a reverse section on them you should always be creating restore points and try to use a restore point to try to go back to a time where it was working correctly. And this is the risk when you're messing around with your computer. A lot of this happens when people do tweaking on their PC and they end up breaking things. So if you don't have any other option to revert back and you haven't done any of that stuff, then your only other option is to reset the PC like I'm showing you right here on the screen. And again, this will mean that you will end up losing programs and it will save your data, but you should always try to save your data. But if you can't access that area to get your data backed up, then you can boot into a live environment like a Linux Live CD or Windows Live CD, uh, WinPE, something like that, and back all your data up there before you go ahead and do this. That way you'll have a backup of all your data. Unfortunately, you will need to reinstall your programs and if this doesn't work after this, then you will need to do a clean install where you're completely erasing everything on the disk and reinstalling Windows that way. Now, unfortunately, a lot of these scripts and tools that people create, they use the terminology of use at your own risk. You will not receive any support. Any loss of data is all your own fault. And this is the big problem with running a lot of these on your computer. What will happen, Gemini, is they make changes to the system or delete something or break something. And again, you can't go running back to them crying, saying, hey, you broke my system. I've now lost all my data or whatever it may be. 
because you're not going to get any help from them. So yes, they are great little utilities that they're creating, but they don't want to offer any support for any of the damages that might come to your system if you run them on your PC. Also keep regular backups and also keep regular restore points. Hopefully these will help you restore your PC back without having to do the destructive method of reinstalling Windows. And if you do like to tinker, then again, always have a safety net so you can always roll back or make sure you're using a program that allows you to restore all of the things that you've changed back to a working state. Anyway, that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on our Discord server. The link is in the video description. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.